I just wanted to say uh, that in my Facebook group, Royal Blue Rebels, we have 2,000 members, so I am having a gi uh, raffle giveaway for my celebration of the group. And uh, I am very fortunate to have extremely nice uh, members. A uh, guy named Gavin uh, contacted me and he sent me his old blue Ryobi Impact, which is his uh, model P230. Now, unfortunately, I was told this doesn't work. I did plug a battery in it. The motor does run, but you can tell that the... I, I forgot what this is called. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. But you can tell that this is barely, it's barely running. It barely runs. So we're going to take this apart and see what is the deal. To so see if we, uh, if we can fix it and to see if, uh, if I need to order parts to fix it. So uh, let's uh, take this apart really quick and find out what's wrong. Alrighty, I, I haven't used my uh, tack life uh, drill in a little while, so I want to use this just so it doesn't go so it doesn't just go crazy now uh, when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the screws that are on here uh, this is old school all the screws that are on here are Phillips all the screws on here are Phillips so it's uh, you just need a, uh, a Phillips uh, screw so we are going to take this out so I think I'm gonna need a thin a thin screwdriver take two thin two thin flathead screwdrivers and just spread the, the clamp apart and then there we go it is done easiest way three components right there then the unit itself uh oh there goes the ball. I have my flashlight. See, and don't do what I do. I forgot about the ball. And I found it. There's the ball. Luckily, I found the ball. Because that would have been a nightmare. All right, so let's take this apart. Hard to believe it. Oh, don't lose the set. Oh, there's two balls. Almost lost the second one. I didn't test that out either. Yeah, the light works. Alrighty. So this, I'm gonna assume that this is probably just sealed on. There we go. Let's see what's wrong. Well, that's one thing. There's there's not that much grease on there. There's not that much grease on there. Okay, I gotta remember there's two balls in there, two bearings. Grease is old, but it's still grease. That's the issue right there. We are going to have to completely take this apart, which that's quite all right with me. Get this from that. Ryobi. All right, so that's better. There we go. Alrighty, so 
I missing anything? No, got them all. That comes right out. I'm hoping to be able to fix this and not be forced to buy a new one. So we're going to take that out. Oh, I see what happened. The ball, I think the ball bearings inside got misplaced. Yeah, the ball bearings inside got misplaced. So we're going to see if we can fix it. If not, I'll just order it. I'll order a new one. Let's, let's do this. Let's see if that does anything. Hold that like that. Damn, that ain't budging. Put that in there. It's actually probably bad for the motor, but that's tight on there now, so let's see if I could grip on this now. Nope. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. Next option, hammer. You know what they say, when it ain't broke, fix it till it is. Ooh, bingo. That actually did it. Do you hear that? Because now this will be hitting the hammers and it's fixed. It is fixed. Yeah, I knew those bearings weren't, those, those bearings weren't good. The bearings in there. Oh, uh, let's see if I can get one. Yeah, right there, those two bearings were in the wrong spot. So now they're in the right spot, and so now the the shaft is back down, and now it's wobbly again, and now the, uh, the anvil will hit the hammer. So it's awesome. All right, that's fixed. And I'm crazy. I almost forgot about my Venom. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's fully operational now. All righty, so... Oh yeah, what I was gonna do. There we go. That just goes to show you sometimes the simplest solution is the right one. Well, let's see what happens if I, if I drive it in. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, perfect. Three, four. So let's put the I, oh oh I almost almost messed up almost messed up where this would have been useless. Don't forget to put the ball bearings back in. Yeah, don't forget to put the ball bearings back in. Because if those ball bearings are, are not in there, then you'll just uh uh. Your, this won't lock into place. This won't lock in your uh, your bit. And there we go. I think we're good. I think we are good. All right, let's uh, much better. All right, so let's try it out.
we are going to use a four inch lag screw and see if it could drive it in. I'm not gonna lie, I don't want Husky, I don't want these anymore. I want, uh, I want to try out Tack Life's uh, socket sets. To put this on. You know what, just in case, just in, uh, this is a two amp hour, let's put a, let's put a four amp hour on there. All right, so three, two, wait, over here, three, yeah, let's just guide it in. Cable of doing it, not all the way. Let's see. You know what? Just for the hell of it, where's the, my six amp hour? Let's see if the six amp hour will help. Now, that's as far as this is gonna go, which is all right. All right, let's take it out. So we were able to get the P230 uh, blue version impact fixed. Luckily, luckily it got fixed. Now uh, I'm going to have to take this apart again in the future pretty soon and add some grease in there because the grease that's in there is actually pretty worn out. So it needs a little bit more grease and I think it'll have a little bit more power. It works. And I thank you, Gavin, so much for sending me this. This thing is awesome. It's going to be added to the, the blue tools among the blue uh, testing videos. So this thing is awesome. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got it. So Tech Life did help me take it apart today. Which, you know, the Tech Life is, you know, it's not a bad, it's not a bad tool at all. You know, it's like, uh, it's just new. It's just new. But thank you, Tech Life, for helping me take the Ryobi apart. So, it's awesome. I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. The one year anniversary is coming up very soon. I, uh, I think I'm gonna do uh, our one year review on the tools. I'm not sure, I might do something a little bit more fun. So we are gonna find out when the time comes. So, that's pretty much it. So I got this fixed. Got one more tool to add for the blue. And we are good to go. And so this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time.